There are three surprising, really surprising lessons that I have learned through studying manifestation for over 15 years and reading well over 100 Law of Attraction and Law of Assumption books. And I share them with you today. Why should you want to know them? Well, first of all, it saves you money and time. Okay, still read the books, okay? And second, because these advanced manifestation lessons will not only help you to manifest one thing like love or travels or money, but will help you manifest anything that you want, your dream life overall. So let's go to lesson number one. You need to find your why. Lesson number one comes with an exercise you have to get familiar with, but don't worry, I have good news. You don't have to take notes now for this. You simply can download my free workbook because this exercise is the first one in the free workbook that helped already many people. So you don't have to take notes now. Everything that you need to know about that exercise is written in the free workbook. So get yours. The link is in the description down below. First of all, I strongly believe that we have our desires for a reason because they're meant to be lived by us. But more on that on lesson number three. And second, there's a reason why you want to manifest what you want to manifest. So underneath your desire is another desire. So let me explain. Let's say you want to manifest money. Good. If you want to manifest money, great thing. Many of us want to do that. But now ask yourself, why? do you want to manifest money? The answer may be, you don't want to be in debt, you want to have more money so you can buy a lot of nice things and you don't have to worry about money struggles. A reasonable reason, yes. But then ask yourself, why do you want to get rid of these money struggles? What is the reason of that? What is the reason? Why do you want to be able to buy nice things? Why do you want to live in abundance? And many of us will come to the reason of safety. You feel safe when you know there are no money problems in your life. You feel safe when you know you can provide for yourself, for your family, maybe your children. So it's a lot about safety when we want to manifest money. But we want to get to the root reason of why you want to manifest what you want to manifest. So continue asking yourself. Okay, first you begin to, to ask yourself, why do you want the money? Why do I want to manifest money? Because I don't want to struggle with money. Why do I want to stop the struggle with money? Because I want to feel safe. Why do I want to feel safe? And here we are all different. Maybe for you it stops with safety. For me, it did not stop with safety. For me, having money was, first of all, I wanted to feel safe because I know what it means to struggle with money, with not having money, not at all. So I wanted to have money to feel safe. But then when I ask myself, when I learned through all these books I have read that the reason is so important, the root reason, then I ask myself again, like, why do I want to feel that safety? Why do I want to feel safe with money? And then I understood that safety for me means freedom. So what I actually want is freedom. Freedom of mind, like when you don't struggle with money, when you feel safe, when you don't have to worry all the time, that means freedom. And also the freedom to do whatever I want, whenever I want, and help as many people as I want. Because when I have enough money, I have safety, I feel safe, I feel calm, and so I can give. I'm able to be clear in my mind. I'm able to provide for everyone I want. And so for me, that means freedom. Or let's talk about another example of love. Let's say you want to manifest your dream partner. You want to manifest love in your life. Then ask yourself, why do I want love? Maybe it's because you want to be accepted. You want to be appreciated. You want to be loved. But then continue asking yourself, like, why do I want to be appreciated? Why do I want to feel loved? Why do I want to feel accepted and seen? And maybe you come to a root reason that is self-love. Maybe you feel that you don't give enough love to yourself. And that's why you want to feel appreciated by someone else. You want to feel loved by someone else. So get to your root reason. Find out your real why. And again, this exercise is in the free workbook. You can download it. I have the link put down in the description. It's all free. So, but now when you have found your root reason, it will give you a lot of empowerment because now you can work on that. You can work on giving yourself 
what you actually want to manifest. So let's say I want to manifest freedom. My The reason why I want to manifest money is to have more freedom, to feel the freedom within. So I can think about how can I give myself freedom already, even without having what I want to manifest. For me, that meant with money, how can I cultivate this freedom. I don't have the money now, so I can't go traveling. I can't do all this freedom stuff that I want to do. So what can I do else to feel that freedom already within? And I found out that for me, it means to not worry, to stop worrying, to trust more, to expect that good things will happen, to just cultivate this freedom in my mind. And of course, with love, with self-love, it would be like cultivate self-love, learn to love yourself, to accept yourself. Whatever it is that is your root reason, begin now to give it to yourself. You don't need anyone else or anything else in the world to cultivate, to produce, to, to create that feeling within yourself, the feeling, the root reason that you want to manifest. The lesson number two that I have learned through reading over 100 love attraction books is mind your reality. So let me tell you a story. In 2018, I decided that I want to live full time on the road, like full time travel. So I began to manifest that. I did all my steps, all the things that were that I needed to do, all the manifestation techniques that I have learned. And slowly but steady, I saw that I'm going into the direction of full time traveling. But in 2018, I was still working in a corporate job. That means I was talking with a lot of people. And when they heard about my crazy dream of traveling full time, usually I heard things like full time. How is that possible? And what do you do? Do you have so much money? Ha <laughs> ha crazy. You're really crazy. I would be worried about all these dangerous places. And are you not worried about your retirement money that you will lose if you do not work? Impossible. I don't believe that you will be doing that. And thanks to these people, I understood a big lesson that I have read so many times in so many books. And that is that everyone creates their own reality. So let's say this is the world, the reality that we see, the world around us. Now, for me, in that moment that I wanted to manifest full-time traveling, I believed 100% in it. Why? Because I saw other people doing it on YouTube. I read about it, a lot of travel blogs. There were a lot of people traveling full-time. So I saw the world through that filter, through that glass or through that window of the possibility of traveling full-time. So that meant for me, I believed in it. I saw that the world gives you the possibility to travel everywhere that you can do that. And so my co-workers saw it completely different. For them, traveling full-time was a thing of like impossible. No one does that. And if someone does that, they are lying or they are really rich. They're completely other people. Normal people like us don't do that. For them, traveling full-time through their filters, it was like Seeing through that window, it was like, oh, that's impossible. You will struggling with money. The places, places are dangerous. No one does that. No one can do that. Like, how do you even dare dreaming that big? We saw the same thing, the same reality in a completely different way. And I understood that only because they see something as impossible, it doesn't mean that it is impossible for me. If they think that full-time travel is impossible, it means they will never do it because they create the reality of full-time traveling is impossible. But if I believe in it, that if I think that it is possible, I create the reality of full-time traveling is possible. So I decided for myself, I decided which reality I want to live. So now I ask you, where are you listening to other people? Where and with which topics are you listening and looking at the reality that other people see? If you want to manifest something that your friends or your parents or someone else says that is impossible, that means nothing. Like really nothing. It is, yes, they, they are right. They are 100% right. It is impossible for them. If you believe that it's possible, you are 100% right. It is possible. And I then manifested my goal. I traveled it for four years, full-time traveling four years through South America, through Asia. I lived in a van and I did exactly what other people said that it's impossible. 
Also, sorry for the light changing all the time and my leg tripod again. If you've seen my last video, that one here, um, you know that I'm also again currently traveling through Europe. Not full-time traveling anymore because I don't want to. I could still, I would still be doing it, so it's still possible for me, but because I wanted to stop, I want to do something else, but still be traveling a lot of time. Lesson number three, let the divine bless you. This is a huge lesson I have learned through reading all these Love Attraction books. And I don't know, it needed a lot of time for me, many, many years to understand that. And even reading books where it was really written there, like I should have understood it, I did not understand it until recently. So I will share this lesson with you. And I'm really curious if you can feel that, if you understand it deeply, or if you feel that you need some more time to understand that. But anyway, if you feel like you need some time to understand it, it doesn't matter because this now will be the moment where you begin to understand and you begin to feel it and you begin to use that. I share a big truth with you. You are 100% blessed all the time. You, your soul, your being lives in abundance 100%. You are an abundant being and you are completely blessed by the divine. So if you embrace the truth, I'm sure the next questions you will ask is, why can't I see that? I can see the abundance. I can't see the never-ending blessings coming into my life. Why then? Patricia, you're not right. That's not possible. And that is the reason why I did not believe it, why I needed so much time to understand that truth. But let me explain you. Let me tell you that you are, you can see it here, or you can imagine it. I imagine it like this. You are blessed all the time. The divine God, the universe is blessing you all the time. You are a direct, there's a direct channel from the central sun, from the divine to you with all the blessings, with everything, with perfect, like perfection, with everything that you need all the time. You are from the divine and you are loved from the divine all the time and blessed all the time. Now, but what happens? Why do you, why can't you feel that right now? It is because you came to the earth, you were born and then things happened. Life happened. That means parents, society, your surroundings, trauma, all these things that conditioned you in a way to not believe in that anymore, to not feel that anymore. Or was it different for you? Maybe when you were born, everyone always told you that you can live in abundance because you are blessed all the time. Most of us don't. Most of us here, there isn't enough. You are not enough. This is not okay. That is not okay. You have to work hard. You have to do this. God doesn't love you. All these different things. So anyway, all these traumas and all these things that are conditioned to you, onto you, create blocks, create shadows. And these blocks and shadows are the only thing that are standing between you and all the blessings that are come that come into your life. So that is what I have learned. You are completely fully blessed with everything that you want that you have ever dreamed of, but you are standing in your way. Your thoughts, your self-sabotage, your blocks, your traumas, everything. Because of all of this, we forget how blessed we are. There's an ever-loving, glowing stream of love and abundance flowing through you from God directly. And don't worry about these blocks that you have. They're there for a reason. You're here to learn. And learning to integrate the shadows and remove those blocks is one of the reasons why you are here. These are your teachers. And once you integrate your shadows and you work on them and you begin to love yourself completely with your shadows and have integrated them, then you will know that you were blessed all the time, that you were never alone and you were never not loved. And I don't leave you hanging here because if you want to know more about shadow work and how to integrate those shadows, watch this video next. It will help you a lot with that. Thank you for being here and I see you in the next one. Bye.